All right, everyone, welcome back to part two of our very special episode here at the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills. It is a privilege to be joined by the executive chef of John George and all of the food on property, Steve Benjamin. Thank you for being here. So I'm Steve Benjamin, uh, the executive chef of the world of Astoria Beverly Hills. Uh, I started cooking, I was what, 14, 13, 14, 14 years old. Uh, born and raised in Paris. Uh, did a lot of restaurants in Paris as well, a lot of plaza, hotel, uh, train over there. And uh, was working with Robuchon, Joël Robuchon for 18 years. Wow, legendary. And uh, dropped me here 14 years ago in Las Vegas to open two restaurants and uh, and been three years here in Los Angeles. Wow. Open that, uh, that hotel and be partner with uh, Jean-Georges. Wow. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. What, uh, Joel Rubichon, a legendary name. What is the greatest lesson that you learned working with him? Patient. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, precision and regularity. Wow. Patience, precision, regularity. I love it. So how would you describe the Jean George experience here at Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills? So, uh, I mean, the Jean George here uh, with, with that beautiful hotel is all about elegance. And, uh, and you have the choice with an outside restaurant like the rooftop by right. Jean George and the inside downstairs with the Jean Georges Beverly Hills, I mean, uh, is is all about all the best recipe he had from New York. He bring it here in Los Angeles, and and we trying to get that kind of vibe here with, uh, with with the hotel. But it's all about the elegance. So, is there obviously then an incorporation of California elements like local sourcing for foods? Completely, and things like that? completely. So, uh, what we actually did is we working with all the farmers market we use some organic vegetable uh, all the best meat we can find here in American states so is is we're working with a lot of small farmers as well yeah so it's actually pretty interesting but everything sourced in California so on this property what is your favorite dish that you guys are serving right now uh, avocado pizza avocado so, pizza yeah, this okay is something very very unique and I will say right now what what we actually bring to the menu uh, is uh, is one of this uh, uh, Chinese uh, uh, pasta. We call that the longevity pasta. And I put some lobster. It's like a ramen. We actually put it with the lobsters and some uh, Chinese uh, pasta. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So for you, what makes a great meal? Uh, I will say. Uh, you, you need to, to touch all the senses. So when you go to the restaurant, you need to feel that vibe. You've been transported it to somewhere where you were not expecting. It's like you're going to go to see a movie in a cinema. Right. And you, 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 you need that kind of transportation. So the servers need to be on top. The, 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 all the ambience needs to be on top. The, the temperature, everything needs to a, put your sense and of course, after everything on, on the plate, need to be a, need to be a, <laughs> need to have an importance on it. Right. Of course. Absolutely. Okay. I have one more question for you. What is one simple step or improvement that I can make uh, for my home cooking to be more successful at home? What would you give someone as advice? I will tell you the best advice to succeed on a recipe at home is to make a lot of mistakes and learn about it. Yeah. So if you do one recipe and you fail, keep doing you should it. try to keep doing it. Okay. And try to learn why you fail. Right. It's the best, it's the best thing for you to understand what, 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 what's going to be the success for your recipe. Great wisdom. Great wisdom. Thank you very much, Chef. You're welcome. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Thank you. Thank you.